Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your own Sally the Seahorse. This is going to be a two-part series. The first part is going to be how to crochet the head, the body, and the tail. So let's get started. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using Baby Snuggle yarn. You can use any type of yarn. Um, this is a size 6 weighted yarn, but you really could use a medium weight worsted yarn or um, even a size 7 yarn if you'd like. I'm going to be using this blue color for the body and this beige color for the fins. You're also going to want to have some black yarn for the eye details. Other supplies that we're going to need is a crochet hook. I'm going to be using my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to need a pair of scissors, a stitch marker. Now if you don't have a stitch marker, you can also use a scrap pair, a scrap strand of yarn. We're going to need some fiber fill. And we're also going to need a darning needle. The stitches that you are going to need for this tutorial is a magic ring, a single crochet, a double crochet, a slip stitch, an increase stitch, a decrease stitch, and a picket stitch. If you're unsure of any of these stitches, we will link some, some videos in the description box below for you to watch prior to completing this project. All right, so to begin, we're gonna be working on the face. So we're gonna start with a magic ring for row one, and this is going to be the nose that we're working on right now. So, Row one is a magic ring, and we're gonna crochet eight single crochets within the ring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you've completed all eight, we're going to close our ring. And I personally like to use a, a scrap piece of yarn for my stitch marker, and I just put it right in front of the very last stitch that I did so that I know when my row ends and when it begins. So that's row one complete. So for row two, we're going to be doing a single crochet in the first two stitches, so two single crochets and an invisible decrease. Now if you're unsure how to do an invisible decrease, I will do a quick demonstration here, but if you need a more in-depth tutorial, I will link a video in the description box below that you can watch. So first we're gonna do a single crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet in the second. And then we're gonna do our decrease. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the front loop only of the next stitch and the one right beside it, the front loop only, so you have two loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull through both those front loops and then yarn over and pull through to complete that stitch. Now we're gonna do two single crochets again. One, two, and we're gonna do one more decrease stitch. So one, and two, and at the end of this row we should have six stitches. So now we're going to move on to row three. So row three we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease stitch. So we're going to do a single crochet and a decrease. A single crochet and a decrease. And at the end of this row, we're going to have four stitches. And that's the end of row three. Now, 
rows four and five is going to be a single crochet four. So we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch. So there's going to be four stitches. It's going to be a little bit tight quarters here for these rows. Two. Three. Four. Because it's a little long, I'm just going to cut this yarn tail and just insert that in. in. So it's not in my way. So for row five, we're going to do four single crochets again. So one. Two, three, and four. So that is rows one through five complete. For row six, we're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch and an increase in the next stitch. We're going to do that twice. So we're going to do a single crochet. And an increase. A single crochet and an increase. And you should have six stitches at the end of this row. So we're opening back up again. For row seven, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a single crochet and an increase. And we're going to do this three times, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. And so we should have nine stitches at the end of this row. So this is our little nose. And now we're working on widening, widening up for the head. So for row eight, we're gonna do nine single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. Four. Six, seven, and nine, and that is row eight complete. For row nine, we're going to do a single crochet in the first two stitches and then an increase stitch. And we're going to repeat that three times. At the end of this row, we should have 12 stitches. So a single crochet two and an increase stitch. Single crochet two. An increase, single crochet two, and an increase stitch. And that is row nine complete.
For row 10, we're going to do three single crochets and an increased stitch. So we're going to do one, two, three, and an increase. One, two, three, and an increase stitch. One, two, three, increase. And that is row 10 complete. For row 11, we're going to be doing four single crochets and an increased stitch. So, one, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. And that is row 11. And at the end of row 11, we should have 18 stitches. So for row 12 through 14, so three rows, 12, 13, and 14, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch. There's 18 stitches across, so you're going to place one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches for rows 12, 13, and 14. So we're just going to go around. And that is rows 12 through 14 complete. This is what we're looking like right now. Now for row 15, we're gonna do four single crochets and a decrease stitch. So one, two, three, four, and we're gonna do our invisible decrease. You're going to do that all the way around, and at the end of this row, we should have 15 stitches. So I'll meet you at the other side. That is row 15 completed. Now we're going to move on to row 16. So for row 16, we're going to do three single crochets and a decrease stitch all the way around. So 
one, two, three, decrease. And you're going to complete that all the way around for a total of 12 stitches at the end. So one, two, three, decrease. One, two, three, decrease. And that is row 16 complete. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on our short round. If you've never made a short round, basically what it's going to do for us is it's going to create the curve in the neck so that there's a curve here down into the body. They're super, super easy to do. So we will start with row 17. Now normally we're going to place our stitch marker here and we're going to continue along the row like normal. But for the short round, what we're actually going to do is we're going to crochet backwards onto what we just crocheted. And for row 17, we need to do six stitches in the short round. So we're going to place six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is what we're looking like right now. We have this like little raised area. So that's six single crochets. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip our work again for, for row 18, we're going to single crochet five. So we're basically just staying on that short round. One, two, three, four, five. Now what you're gonna notice is where we missed a stitch right here and that we want that. So that's what we're gonna crochet into when we start creating the curve. And I know that doesn't make sense now, but once we get there, it will make more sense. So now we're gonna flip our work again and we're gonna go for row 19. We're gonna crochet four, single crochet four. So one, two, three, four. Flip our work again. And for row 20, short round 20, we're going to single crochet three. One, two, three. Now for 21, we're gonna crochet two, single crochet two, one, and two. So this is what we're currently looking like. This is our nose and then this is the short round that we just created. And as you can see on the edge here, it looks like a little staircase and those are all the stitches we're going to be crocheting right into as we move along in this pattern. So we want our stitch marker on this side. All right. So now that we move our, our stitch marker, we're gonna do 12 single crochets. So we're gonna do the two in the top. One, two, and then we're gonna go into these skip stitches right here. So you're gonna jump down to this stitch right here. That's gonna be number three. And these corner stitches can be a little bit difficult to get into. So just take your time. Okay, so this is single crochet number three. And then we're gonna jump down to this one. This is number 
four. Now we're back down. So we've we crocheted into that one. So now we're going to work into this one. So this is number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's all around the the round that we didn't touch for the short round. Now we're gonna jump up to this stitch right here, which is gonna be number 11. And then this last little stitch right here, which is gonna be number 12. Now, once your short round is done, that first, that next uh, row that we just completed, row 22, what you're going to notice is now that we have our curve here. So this is where the curve is going to start for our body. And that is our head right here. So that's what we're looking like right now. So now we're going to move on to rows 23 through 36. Now 23 through 36, or 26, sorry, 24, 25, 26, so four rows, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to make 12 single crochets around for each one of those four rows. All right, so we're going to make our 12 single crochets around two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12. The one part about having this string as your stitch marker can get in the way sometimes. So that's row 23. So complete three more rows like that till row 26 and I will meet you back here at the end of row 26. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far after we've completed up to row 26. Now, before we move on, now is when we're gonna start stuffing our head and our neck. Um, and if you're wanting to place safety eyes, this would be the time to do that. Um, I'm gonna embroider eyes, but you can do whatever you'd like to do. So I just take some fiber fill and I just stuff as best I can. And you just don't want to overstuff. Um, I think this is also a personal preference for how um, firm you want your stuffy. Um, but you want enough stuffing that it's going to hold its shape, um, but not too much that it's going to um, be rock hard, if that makes any sense at all. Now, when we're finished the head and body, we are going to be pinning this down. So we don't want too much stuffing in the neck. And you will notice from the short round that you may have small little holes in the sides of your um, crochet on the head. And that's totally fine. We can sew those up later. Um, that's just from skipping those stitches when we were walking down the stairs on our short round. So this is kind of what it's going to look like when we've secured the head down. It's going to hold this shape. So just try not to overstuff the neck too much. So we're going to move on now to the body. 
So the body is going to start with row 27. So for row 27, what we're going to do is we're going to do six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to place an increase stitch. So increase, so two stitches in one. If you've never created an increase stitch before, you're just basically placing two single crochets in one stitch. So we're increasing the count that we have. So then we're going to do two single crochets. We're going to do an increase stitch again. So two single crochets in one stitch. And then we're going to do two single crochets to finish off this row. Like that. At the end of this row, you should have 14 stitches. For row 28, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 14 single crochets. like so. That is row 28 complete. Next row is row 29. We're going to do eight single crochets. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to do eight single crochets and then we're going to do an increase stitch. So one, two, in one stitch and then we're going to do another increase stitch so one two and then we're going to do four single crochets one two three and four and that is row 29 complete. Next is row 30. We're going to do one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 16 stitches all the way around. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Sixteen. All right, row 31. For row 31, we're going to single crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 
six, seven, eight. We're gonna do an increase stitch, one, into the same stitch, two, we're gonna do one single crochet, and then we're gonna do another increase, one, two, then a single crochet, and then one more increase, and then single crochet three. One, two, three. So right now we're just forming out the belly. So that's what those increases are doing. Row 32, we're going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch. And there are 19 stitches, so complete 19 single crochets. And meet me at the end of row 32. Okay, so that is the end of row 32. So for row 33, we're going to place 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to place an increase stitch. So two and one, one, two, then we're going to place two single crochets, one, two in each in their own stitch, then an increase stitch, then two single crochets, an increase stitch, and two single crochets for a total of 22 stitches. And that is row 33. Row 34 is going to be one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 22 single crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of row 34. And that is row 34 complete. So this is kind of what we're looking like. I know it looks a little bit alien right now, but this is kind of what the shape that we're getting right now. So for row 35, we are gonna place 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to do an increase stitch. Three single crochets, one, two, three, an increase stitch, one and two stitches in one, single crochet, three, one, two, three, and one more increase, and one last single crochet. Now at the end of this row we should have 25 stitches. 
Now for row 36, we're going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch. So for a total of 25 stitches. So just complete row 36 and I will meet you at the other side. All right, and that is row 36 complete. To begin row 37, we're going to make 14 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then we're going to do a decrease stitch. So front loops only will do our invisible decrease. And then we're going to single crochet three. One, two, three. We're going to do another decrease stitch. And then we're going to end off this row with four single crochets. One, two, three, four. On to row 38, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch across for 23 stitches. So I'll meet you at the other side of row 38. And that is row 38 complete. So this is what we're looking like right now. Again, it kind of looks a little alien right now, but I promise just trust the process. <laughs> So before we move on, we're going to continue stuffing. Now you can stuff as you go, like every few rows, you can put some more stuffing in. Sometimes I just forget that I haven't stuffed yet. So just place as much stuffing as you need. Again, don't overstuff the neck because we're going to pull it down like this. But you still want some stuffing in there. And then we're gonna stuff the belly to make sure that we get that shape that we're looking for. And I just like to pull my stuffing out to the edges to make sure that it all gets stuffed on the outside. And then I'll just stuff a little bit in the inside again, in the center. Once you have stuffed to your liking, we're going to move on to row 39. So for row 39, we're going to start off with 14 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then we're going to complete a decrease stitch. Then two single crochets, one, two, and then a decrease stitch. One single crochet and another decrease. And at the end of row 39, you should have 20 stitches. 
For row 40, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 20 single crochets. Once you've completed row 40, I'll meet you back here for row 41. Alright, for row 41, we're going to start off with 12 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then we're going to place a decrease stitch. Then one single crochet. Then a decrease. Then one single crochet and one final decrease. And at the end of row 41, we should have 17 stitches. For row 42, we're going to start off with one single crochet. Then we're going to do a decrease stitch. Then we're going to single crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll place a decrease again. Then two single crochet. And one last decrease. And at the end of this row, row 42, you should have 14 stitches. Now we'll just stuff a little bit more now that we've gone a few rows. You just want to stuff every few rows to make sure you're keeping up. And now that we're getting skinnier at the end, it's harder to get in. So. And that's what we're looking like so far. So now that we have some stuffing in there again, we're going to move on to row 43. So row 43, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 14 single crochets. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. Now for row 44, we're going to start off with a decrease. And then we're going to place 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
And then we're going to place one last decrease, which makes our count for row 44 12 stitches around. For row 45, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 12 stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Once again, I'm going to do some more stuffing. All right, I'm liking the shape. So we're moving on to row 46. For this row, we're going to do a single crochet and a decrease. We're just going to repeat that four times. And at the end of this row, we should have eight stitches. Decrease single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease. Now for row 47, we're going to do two single crochets. One, two, and we're going to do a decrease stitch. And we're going to do that one more time. One, two, and a decrease. Now this is the last row that we're going to stuff to. So make sure that your stuffing is where you want it to be because from here we're going to work on to the tail directly from the body. So this is going to be your last chance to fill the body. So just make sure this end is nice and full. That you have no missing space. And that is what your body is looking like right now. Now that we've completed the head and the body, we're going to start working on our tail. We're going to work directly from the end of the body here. And basically what we're going to do is for rows 48 to 68, we're going to complete six single crochets around. So you're going to get basically a long tube and eventually we're going to roll it up and it's going to become the little curly Q tail. So six single crochets in every single stitch for rows 48 to 68. And keep in mind that we're not stuffing this area. So for rows 48 to 68, no stuffing because we're going to be rolling this up so we want it to be as flat as possible. Three, 
four, five, six. So complete yours all the way to row 68. And when you're all done, we'll meet back here to go to the next step. All right, so this is what we're looking like at the end of row 68. We have our head, our body, and our long tail. Now I know it looks strange right now, but right now the next step is to shape the body. So that is part one complete. Please head over to part two of this tutorial to learn how to shape the body, create the fins, and the head spikes.